Hi guys and welcome back to 97 Projects. I'm Amy and this week we're going to try and make resin moulds using just a 3D printer and some silicone. Now I have spent a silly amount of money on silicone moulds for resin and I wanted to see if I can make these cheaper for myself, get good at it so then I can make more moulds for myself rather than keep buying them from Amazon. My boyfriend bought me a 3D printer for my 30th birthday. I want to see can I use that 3D printer to my advantage and create a mould for the silicone to sit around to create something for me to drop the resin into, which is the idea. And I keep getting tagged in these videos on Facebook where people have created like a word in resin and then put fairy lights. I want to do that and try and make some Christmas decorations. So the design that I'm going to be going for today is Noel, just a simple 3D letter word all joined up which will then give me the ability to put fairy lights in it and then pour resin over the top. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in the resin first. I'm gonna see, if, first of all, the biggest test actually is gonna be, will the 3D lines show through in the silicone and then in the resin? You need to get the 3D print as smooth as possible because any ridges in that print will show in the silicone. And I think if I create a mold with that silicone, it's gonna push through to each of the resin products that I make as well and then I'll end up having to sand that down 10 times rather than if I just spent the time sanding down the one 3D print. This will eventually pop out to this if I sit backwards. So the idea behind it is for this to sit in the bottom of like a Tupperware or sandwich box or I might make my own box out of acrylic, stick that to the bottom of it and then pour the silicone over the top to create the mould. I'll leave that to set for a, a day and I'll come back and check it. I've spent a lot of hours uh, sanding this down just so I can get a nice smooth finish on the front, only on the front. The back is what's going to be stuck down to the Tupperware so I don't need to sand the back of it. So I am going to be trying out silicone. This is one that I found on Amazon. It had uh, good reviews. I normally do a little bit of research, make sure I've got the best value one on there. This was I think it was 20, I'll put the price up in the corner, but this was about 27 pound, I think, 26 pound for 600 mils or 600 grams. It's the first time of me using silicone. So with silicone, the same as resin, you'll have a part A and a part B that you'll have to mix together in certain quantities. Luckily enough, this is another one-to-one -one ratio. So as much of the part A that I pour, I need exactly the same as part B. Because it only has like a pot life of so long, Keep them separate until you're ready to actually use the product. I'm gonna, same with resin, we're gonna stir slowly, we're gonna try and make sure there's no bubbles in there because any bubbles that are in the silicone are gonna show up in the piece and that's what we don't want. We wanna make the, the mold as good as possible so we're gonna take this really slowly. So this actually cures in 12 hours, so it's not too bad at all. Normally it takes about 24 hours so tomorrow morning when I wake up this will be ready. One tip I have seen from a couple of the tutorials on YouTube is to pour from a height and then do a thin drizzle onto wherever you're meant to be pouring it into. This should reduce the amount of bubbles that make their way into the silicone mould. Right, so in the packet of silicone we've got a pair of gloves, two cups, although I think these are going to be a little bit small to fill this area in. Um, part A and part B of the silicone. So what I've done is I've measured the inside space of the enclosure here by and I'm going to fill it up to 3.5 centimeters so I'm going to add that or times that together to find out the volume of silicone that I do need and make sure that I've got enough in here to do it before I start pouring. We've got a pint cup now which is a touch bigger than the cup I was going to be using. I just want to make sure that I'm going to be able to fit everything in looks fairly liquidy so it might pour okay right let's try this then okay it pours okay it's not as thick as uh, resin so that's lucky means it's gonna come out the bottle nicely I'm trying to figure out a way that I can balance that so that it still pours use my tripod genius <laughs> tell you what I'm in the wrong business here I should be to just be in like genius business. Part B then, and I'm gonna ready up the mixing sticks. Nice big flat ones that I've got versus the normal lollipop sticks. Not doing too badly on the bubble front so far. They all seem to be, oh, I didn't get any alcohol spray. 
You're meant to spray on the top of the um, silicone with alcohol spray. So with resin, you normally use a, a torch. I'm pretty sure you can't use that with silicone. Let's mix. There we go. And I've got to mix this for a few minutes. I think about five minutes. And scrape the sides as I would do with normally with resin. Make sure I scrape the bottom. Getting all those little corners. This is what the big the big lollipop sticks are good for that you can just scrape around the edges. Make sure you've got it all mixed thoroughly. There's still bubbles popping on the top of it. Maybe I should let it sit for a minute. So we're back, it's 24 hours later on. Um, the mold has turned out nice and solid. I have got gloves on because the back of the letters are still a little bit wet where they've been stuck to the bottom of the uh, Tupperware. I've already taken it out. So as you saw, we did it in a lunchbox instead of my makeshift, um, my little makeshift container because it failed basically. <laughs> I think maybe for smaller pores, it will be okay. I think for the volume of silicone that we actually put into here the thin plastic and the hot glue couldn't cope with it so and I have started to just try and peel away a little bit I'm going to be really careful of the little loops in here as well because I don't want to ruin I need those to stay there so that the resin looks good it was fairly easy to get out of the uh, the pot I thought I thought because I hadn't used any mold release this was going to be quite difficult to release so I just took a sharp edge and just cut it away from the tub and started to prise it into the middle, so it squeezed the silicone into the middle of the tub to make sure I've got a nice bit of air going around the outside and then just press down to get the, uh, the mould out. So I'm really happy with how I can see it's turned out so far. I am going to try and get it, get the letters out carefully. <laughs> try to do this as, as best as possible because silicone is so expensive. I don't want to be buying and making mistakes with the silicone because you can't it's like resin, you can't go back and do it again. Please turn out well, please turn out well, please turn out well. It's coming. Push. She's crowning. She's crowning. Wow. That looks so cool. You can't see that. I'll do some close-ups and I'll put it in now. But I knew it was going to happen because there was a couple of imperfections on the front of the, on the front of the letters and you can only sand down so far because the the 3d print is in three is in layers as soon as you start sanding down too much you sort of go through to the next layer so i think that's what happened when i sanded i went a bit too far wow the ridges on there have come out quite strong i'm super pleased with that i'm so super pleased that i never use the word super so you know i'm pleased <laughs> There's a, there's a couple of bits on the top that are still a bit like jellyish, so I'm hoping that they'll sort of cure a bit more over the next couple of days. But I'm, for my first mould, first ever time using a 3D print in a silicone mould, should I do the first coat with resin or should I wait for some LED lights to turn up? Oh, I've got some downstairs that I could use. And do it today. Maybe we should do it today because because we're all about saving money <laughs> hence why we're making our own silicone molds um i am going to use a set of led lights that i have in the house today if it goes well and the resin turns out really well and there's not too much sanding down i will then purchase enough lights to start mass producing those and sell them online so I've been down and stripped all the lights off of my mantelpiece. <laughs> got some cool white and then we've got the warm white. I'll have to have a bit, bit of a play around and see which one looks best. Kind of want the string to finish at this end so then that can stick out of the resin. I need to double check as well that the um, that these are going to be okay in resin. They might not be. Do I need waterproof ones? I'm not sure. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think I like the, a lot more lights in there. 
especially if it's going to go inside resin. I think that's going to be um, it's going to need to, need to be quite bright to stand out. Oh, I'm excited for this. Okay, I want the I want this cool cool light. Does this look more Christmassy or does the warm light look Christmassy? Maybe I could do two versions. I could do I could offer two versions. You can either have the cool light or you can have the warm light. I reckon. Let me know if you prefer the cool or the warm light in the comments. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, compare that to the. Wow. Are we prepared to resin? Oh my god, I think we are. All right, so let's quickly mix up some resin. I'm going to try and do smaller quantities, I think, rather than going full out. I think I'm going to go for 20 of each and then see how we get on. I can always come back and mix some more up. So let's do that. Do I want to mix any glitter in with this? I wonder. Should I put some silver glitter in? So it's like snowflakes. Trying to warm it up with my hand as well. Right, I'm going to put the tiniest, tiniest speck of glitter in this and see how we get on. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm not normally one for glitter, but like unicorns and pixie dust and just beautiful. Oh my God. <gasps> Ooh. All right, should we pour it in and see how we get on? <gasps> oh my God. I can already see that this isn't gonna be enough resin, but it'll be a good test, first of all, to see if the lights are okay inside resin. I'm not sure whether I've got the right sort of lights. So let's mix up some more. I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch me do that again. You know how to mix resin by now. Let's check we're still working. Don't want to heat it up too much because the lights might fry. This is going to be so cool to pop out tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's like Christmas, but it's only October. <laughs> I'm going to leave that. Turn the light off, save the battery, and we'll check back in 24 hours. And we are back with the resin, which is now fully cured. And the lights still work, which is always a good sign. I am going to try and take this out carefully without ruining the mould, because I do actually want to use this again. I'm hoping there's not going to be too much sanding to do. Okay, it's coming out pretty easily. I'm happy about that. I've made this mould is really good. There we go, and we're out. Ooh, okay. It's not as shiny as I thought it was going to be, but it is cool. I'm happy with that. It needs a lot of tidying up. It's not as shiny as if I'd have bought my own mould. However, I'm hoping with a little bit of sanding down, I can get that to be as glossy as I need it to be. Or I could top coat it with another layer of resin. I could trim all the... So the there's a little bit of um, like roughness on the round the edges, so I could trim that as much as possible and then just top coat it with another layer. If it, if it does come out clear after a top coat, then it's going to be well worth making my own moulds. If I'd have bought the same one on Etsy, it was £33 the guy was selling it for. And it was a lot more effort and it's not necessarily the best result, but I guess we'll see once I've top coated. So um, There's still some of the silicone that's still a bit tacky. So I could trim that off, make sure all the edges are really nice and finished so I don't get all the, the, the gunk on the back of the, the letters. Hopefully that should save me some sanding down. I don't want to sit here for hours trying to get this. Otherwise there's almost no point in me making my own moulds because if I can't make this without hours of uh, sanding then I should just buy the mould straight out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's worth the effort? Have you tried any LED lamps yet? Have you ever made a custom mould or do you prefer to buy them? 
Check out these dream lights which I made using moulds I found on eBay. A lot less sanding and the resin was a lot clearer. We also had a new addition born into the family, so I made a little night light for baby Maeve. I found a product which covers 3D prints and makes them smooth, which saved me a lot of sanding down compared to the Noel sign. And I think it turned out really well. It was a lot of work, but it's a nice unique gift. Happy? Yeah. Are you happy? I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Guess why? Because you're a family Because I've got a job. I think most of you know by now that I, uh, I lost my job at the start of April because of COVID and I've been out of work for the last six months. Etsy has been one of the ways that I've been paying my bills. Um, so thank you to all the friends and family and people on Etsy that have purchased something in the last six months from my Etsy shop because you have honestly kept me out of bankruptcy. <laughs> God knows it, it's a, a big hit to lose your job especially at a time when there's no jobs out there and nobody's recruiting, nobody can go out to interviews either. So thank you so much. Also, there has to be a mention to my special boyfriend, Mike. Um, you have honestly been my rock. Ooh. You've been my absolute rock. It's been the worst six months and you have been unreal. So thank you so much. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? From the top. I'm Amy. Is that a question? I'll just shake that then when I'm talking. Now you can hear me. Should really write this down. Don't ask me about it. Resin? Cool job. So, cool job. Cool new job. Cool. Cool. It's a mess. I'm just sitting in the sun and going, burn me. That's irresponsible. Don't do that, by the way. Disclaimer. Don't get cancelled. I'm not going to be taking any L's here today. <laughs> I'm going to stop there after this one. <laughs>